All right, on to our HubSpot CMS feature of the week. We're going to talk about content staging. Now, why do I want to talk about this? Is that lots of customers and we, with portals we go into, Craig, we see people um, creating new pages or versions of pages and sticking ro- long <laughs> headlines on there saying, this is version five, do not publish, you know, under any circumstance, or they're cloning pages inside inside um, website and landing pages. But actually, content staging is a great place, especially if you've got to go through a process of getting approval or if you're redesigning a site. And people don't often find it because it's in the more tools button, right, at the top. And it's written under content staging. So that's the first place to go find it. Once you get into that area, the editing is very similar. Now, there are a few nuances in here, and you will probably see that in the show notes, is that you can see all the unmodified pages you can see stage draft and stage proof pages so these are kind of like thinking of where you are in this process of publishing things you can take when you when it says unmodified it'll pick up all of your pages that are on your site and you can essentially clone that or take a copy of it and then make the stage draft um as a or you can create a whole new page from that from that uh page let's call it that page that we're aiming to re- redo the stage draft and the stage proof is really a place where you can just play around and you can edit things and the proof is basically you're going to publish this and you can then start sharing that with other members of the team and get feedback on the page so it has its own url so you don't have to think oh where am i going to publish this to oh, i need to put a draft in the url so that no one can see it there is essentially a different domain this is getting published on, which is not indexed by Google, and you can share that with Teams. So you, often in WordPress, we'll find people that say, oh, I don't want this to go out, and you need to show it to me before it uh, goes out. When we send links to people, they've got to have a login to have to WordPress to view the page, and then they have to go through the whole rigmarole, whereas in HubSpot, you can just say, oh, here's the link. Have a, have a look and let us know if it's okay or if it's not. So there are lots of great reasons as to why you should be doing this. And then you can also then, once you've done that, you can actually publish it. It'll check your URLs. It'll tell you if there's any inconsistencies or things that are going to get overwritten. It'll manage all of that. And then you can bulk publish everything and you can have a log. So I think it's one of those really underutilized, but one of those fantastic tools. It's kind of like the hidden gem inside CMS Hub, I think. It, it totally is. I, I totally agree. And I know we've been saying this a lot lately, but the HubSpot CMS Hub is underrated. It's underappreciated. People don't realize how powerful and just how mature it is. And this content staging, it's been there for years. It's really good. It works well. And when we show people, it's like, oh, wow, I didn't know HubSpot had, had this. And like, oh. How do we do this on WordPress? And to your point, yeah, you got to log in or then you got to have a plugin to make previews available without login. And oh, then I've got to add this plugin, all this kind of stuff. It's like, it's just all built in uh, uh, from the foundation up. So yet another feature in HubSpot CMS. I just think this, like this year, we're focusing a lot on the CMS Hub features. It's underappreciated. And yeah, here's a good example. That's right. And listeners also remember that Inside CMS Hub, like if you're, if you're using WordPress, for example, one of the things is you could be having multiple themes in there and you could create whole sites of different themes without upsetting anything that's uh, currently live. So just be aware of that. It's so good. I love that. You can you can have one page using this theme and another page using that theme. And it yes. doesn't break. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah.